another exciting English lesson in which I help you develop your academic discussion skills. Today's topic is crime, so stick around because it's going to get heated. And we're live! Hi there and welcome to English Palette, a historical place where a professional teacher, my name is Jack, I help you develop your academic discussion skills uh, and you can be a part of this lesson. So if you're joining us for the first time, I'm just, I want to welcome you and uh, ask you to go over to our Discord server called English Hub, where we are interacting live right now. Uh, and you can find the link in the video description. And if you are a repeater watching us faithfully, I just really want to thank you for making this a great community and just helping to this channel to grow. And uh, yeah, you are making it a reality. So thank you. Don't, don't ever think that you are not important. You are very important. You are a part of this experience. So as I mentioned, my name is Jack. I'm a professional teacher who decided to uh, undertake this Discord slash uh, Twitch adventure of teaching online. And uh, well, and you are watching what is happening today. Today's topic is crime. And this should be really, really exciting. Uh, as usual, I posted the questions for the discussion in advance on my website. So if you haven't seen the questions yet, please head over there and uh, have a quick look. And hopefully you'll be able to take part in the discussion as well. Well, and how are you guys doing today? This is how I'm feeling today. Wow, I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. And I hope that you are feeling great too. And I hear the school bells ringing. It's time to get started. Right, the class is in session. So let me bring up, uh, let me bring up the screen. Uh, first of all, the official business. I want to give a shout out to our amazing, amazing Discord server called English Hub. It's a growing community of learners from all over the world. Uh, look, we are uh, almost at 8.5 thousand members and we have 1400 uh, active members online right now. Guys, this is amazing. There are people from all over the world communicating, they're uh, discussing issues in voice channels, uh, voice chats, and, uh, and they're helping each other. There are various ways of, of getting involved on the English Hub. And the most interesting thing about it is that, you know, the staff and the moderators there are just great people. It's a very healthy community for you to be involved in. And of course, if you be, want to be a part of these, lesson, these lessons, which I try to do three times a week, you need to be a part of this English Hub. You need to register, otherwise you're missing out a great deal on a lot of fun and just helpful helpful advice and, and interaction. All right, so the English Hub, the link is in the video description. So check out uh, the video description, whether you're watching this on YouTube or whether you're watching this on Twitch, just scroll down and you will see the invite to the Discord server, the English Hub. All right, everybody. And today's questions, let's bring them up. So, as you can see, they're all posted on the, my website. 
and I posted it already like close to two days ago so as to give you enough time to read to prepare your answers um, so but just in case you haven't seen the questions yet well here they are so let me just quickly scroll through them you see we're talking about crime once a criminal always a criminal and by the way if you have no idea what i'm talking about that's probably because you just joined us on discord and you don't know that we are live on twitch click on my profile on discord and you will see there's a link to our twitch channel twitch.tv slash english spot that's english s-p-o-t and basically that's where we are live and i'm showing you these questions on the screen so open up a new tab go head over there and say hi in the chat all right well i can see the room is full of people let i don't want to keep you hanging here for nothing question number one guys is crime a big problem in your country so this is a great opening question where you can talk about problems of crime in your countries and what type of crime in particular is it violent, uh, violent crime is it corporate crime is it petty crime what kind of crime is in, uh, problematic uh, in your country uh, question number two so what makes some people criminals i think this is going to be controversial great i'm looking forward to hearing all kinds of ideas on this one from you so is it the poverty is it a bringing uh, you know is it the nature versus nurture and nurture means the upbringing by parents or maybe lack of parents or is it the environment lack of education is it unemployment or something else well you'll have a chance to voice your opinion here today Question number three. So some people say, this is an opinion, by the way, not my opinion, but someone's opinion. Once a criminal, always a criminal. Well, do you agree with this opinion or not? Can people change? Do you know examples of people changing? Support your answer. Uh, then um, we have another quote from uh, Piotr Kropotkin, who once said that prisons are universities of crime maintained by the states. state not the states <laughs> the state which means the country so what uh, uh, kropotkin is saying is that basically uh the state or in other words the the taxpayer you and i those who pay taxes are basically educating criminals how to do crime even better by sending them to prisons prisons are universities of crime do you agree with this assessment or um so when it or if you agree well if the if the jail system is not if the prisons are are not adequate then what other um, solutions do you propose when dealing with crime well i'm looking forward to hearing your suggestions on this as well well and then question number five do you think that punishment for violent crimes should be the same for minors that means uh, individuals who are not legally adults yet full members of society or should the punishments be more lenient or perhaps there shouldn't be any punishments at all so why or why not support your answer and of course as always i encourage my students to sub submit questions and we have received one question this time so let me just scroll down and this question is from lek thank you lek for submitting your question uh, and that one is a pretty complicated question, but I think, uh, you know, it's worth discussing. So Lek is saying, do you think that your justice system incorporates the innocent until proven guilty principle? Now, this innocent until proven guilty, that is not always a principle uh, available in every country. But perhaps that is the principle in the American judicial system, judicial system so perhaps we can talk about that so why do you think many systems that have this principle uh, millions of people still have to prove their innocence and are being convicted unjustly and some even spend up to 30 years in prison unjustly right until proven innocent uh, so basically lex seems like it's an emotionally charged comment or question uh, let's just talk about this idea innocent until proven guilty and yet there are many cases where innocent people are finding themselves locked behind bars and sometimes it takes up to 30 years to prove their innocence all right i hope you're excited to be talking about this topic i know i am and it is my privilege to be facilitating this debate so stick around 
Uh, it's not a debate really, it's a discussion, a friendly discussion. And remember, the focus of these lessons is not really the topic. The topic is meant to, um, to uh, co encourage you to speak your opinion. However, the main idea that we're working here on is developing discussion skills for English learners. So sometimes we have native speakers come on the show and voice their opinion. However, I always want to prioritize our learners, especially the members of our English Hub uh, server, uh, because that is for you guys. I'm doing this to help you improve your English skills. Well, let's get started. Before that, I'll just refresh um, your memory when it comes to our discussion language. All right, where is our sheet? Here it is. Okay, so this worksheet can be downloaded from my website as well. If you're a member of the channel, then it's completely free. Uh, basically, I will just rep um, um, re refresh your memory when it comes to the various tools that we have available to us when having a discussion. First of all, confirming meaning. It's so important that we respond or discuss things that we are clear on. So things as, as words such as, did you say, did you say that crime, uh, that criminals cannot change or that they can change? Please clarify. Are you saying that once a criminal, always a criminal or do you disagree? Um, then giving ver verbal feedback is also important, right? Because that shows that we are listening. So words like, uh, phrases, uh-huh, yes, I see, oh, really, mm-hmm, oh, you know, even a little, uh, a little interjection like this helps uh, the speaker, uh, you know, keeps, keeps them assured that they are being listened to. Giving opinion is probably the most important part of any discussion, right? So use these expressions. Personally speaking, I think that criminals cannot change. They will go back to their own lifestyle after they leave the prison system. Or you can say, as far as I'm concerned, everyone has free choices. They can change if they want to. And then, of course, when uh, there's silence, and this is especially the job for our leaders, uh, our leaders are supposed to ask individuals in the group, say, well, what do you think about that? And maybe sometimes even mention the name. So what do you think about question number three? Does anybody else have anything else to add? All right. And I just hear music, which indicates that someone has just bought, has just bought me a coffee. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So, wow, that's wonderful. It's a historical moment as well. I really appreciate any help that you can uh, lend in order to uh, help this help this channel grow. Thank you so much for that. And asking for an opinion. Well, I just mentioned that. Responding now. Responding to people's opinions. It's really important that we acknowledge. So let's say someone has just sweated hard and they were nervous and, and they just, you know, they they finally blurted out their opinion. <sighs> now they feel really proud about themselves. Well, then acknowledge it. Say, hey, yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, that's uh, that's true. If you agree, say so, yes. Or you say, yes, I think so too. That's exactly what I was going to say. Or, oh, I never thought about that. If you agree, assure them that, yes, I agree with you. Well, of course, sometimes we disagree and we have to be honest about that too. So here are some phrases for you to, you, to use. Um, yes, I see your point, uh, but uh, I don't think that you have considered this aspect or I'm not so sure I agree with you or just flat out say that I absolutely disagree, but then try to support your answer, right? Summarizing. Well, that is the job of our summarizers, uh, who at the end of the discussion will point out two or three interesting uh, points that were raised during the discussion round. All right, guys, are there any questions? If you are clear, let's move on to the actual discussion. All right, here we go. Let's bring up the Wheel of Names. All right, guys, so in our discussion, it's not just a pointless discussion, but uh, we are trying to arrive at the destination. And that means that the various discussion group members, the panelists have additional roles. Not only are they expected to speak their mind on the questions, but also they have additional roles. For example, the leader. The leader is going to make sure that 
uh, there's no silence that everyone in the panel on the panel is in, uh, involved more or less equally and uh, the, the leader also has the freedom of choosing the questions that they want to respond ha have the group respond to well we're also have going to choose our timekeeper who is going to make sure that uh, we are not the discussion is not dragging on that we are not dwelling on one question too long the timekeeper is watching the timer is and it's going to he's going he or she is going to uh, suggest that hey maybe we should move on to the next question active participants well self-explanatory you talk your head off devil's advocate a special role normally devil's advocate voices his or her opinion as normal however if, let's just suppose there's an agreement in the group everyone agrees and there's nothing to discuss the devil's advocate jumps in and starts to argue for the opposite viewpoint and of course we have our summarizer which i already mentioned so ladies and gentlemen are you ready please raise your hands if you're interested in being a part of this discussion round okay i see gun grammar are you interested in discussing the topic of crime sure oh well, great please, thank please, you so much all right gun, gun grammar and yes our regular here wonderful nice to have you with us i hope this is going to be a fruitful discussion for you and Noya, you've indicated uh, your interest. Noya, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Sure, oh. why not? Excellent. Noya, thank you for volunteering. Excellent. We also have Zero. Hello, Zero. Zero likes to draw. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Hello, you have to unmute yourself. And everyone else, please raise your hand in the, in the stage room so that I can uh let you in zero hello can you is your microphone working no okay alessi alessi how about you it's alec <laughs> alec okay i'm sorry alec well i'm trying to read it for the first time then okay alec welcome i know you are active Hi. active participant on the server i hope you can be an active participant in this group as well yeah, While we're quite busy. Excellent. So we'll be discussing crime and we need three more volunteers. We have Villain. Hello, Villain. Would you like to be a part of this discussion on crime? Villain, what, an, uh, what a name for a discussion group on crime. I really like to, but I'm not sure if I do any good. Okay, well, you can uh, just uh, listen this time or maybe uh, later if you, you know, we'll have a few of these discussion rounds. So uh, you are welcome to join us later, no problem. E.L. Fishy, how about you? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? L. Fishy, you have to unmute yourself. Hello, L. Fishy. Hi. Oh, okay. I can speak now. What's up? Yes, now you can speak. Would you like to be a part of this discussion panel on crime? Uh, what, what, so what I need to do? Well, you will see the screen, the questions on the screen, and you just need to discuss those questions. You where, may... where is, where I am on phone, so like where I can see the question. Okay, well, if you cannot see my Twitch channel, which uh, we're live on right now, that's okay because maybe oh. it will put you in the disc in a role where you don't need to see the questions. You just need to listen and actively participate. Okay. 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 All right. So, L Fishy, L Fishy, welcome. Uh, what an interesting nickname! I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure everyone has a story. And what about uh, all is tone? H O hailstone. Ah, sorry, that's hailstone. Hi, hailstone. Hailstone, unmute your microphone, please, and w please confirm you want to be a part of this discussion on crime. By the way, I see the room is full of people. 42 people, 43 people are listening to us now. Well, we need more volunteers for this discussion panel. So um, raise your hand and, and join our discussion, guys. Forrest Gump. Hello, Forrest. Would you like to take part in our discussion group? Forrest, you need to unmute your microphone. Okay, Forrest, I cannot hear you. Uh, well, are there no interested participants in discussing the question of crime? Uh, we need two more uh, willing participants here. Raise your hand, please. Um, 
Otherwise, there's no lesson, and I will play boring elevator music. Here we go, guys. Elevator music. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you can add me. Oh, Sapphire. Okay, well, welcome. Yeah. I'm so really? glad to see you here. Sapphire it's and what says Sapphire. Yes, Alec and Sapphire. This is going to be a great discussion. <laughs> well, anyone else? No. Well, raise your hand. Welcome, now. Sapphire. Yes. Anybody else wants to uh, join this discussion? We have Rendang. Rendang, hello there. Unmute your mic microphone. Rendang. Hello, Rendang. Yes, you just hi. Rendang? Yeah. Hi there. Okay, welcome. I'm Hello. Hi. Maybe it's a long distance phone call because you sound kind of muted. Ha ha ha. This is boomer humor for you guys. Rendang, welcome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. We have six participants. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Yeah. Excellent. Very good. All right, guys. So now let's select our, uh, our leader for our discussion group. So, if you are watching the Twitch screen, take a look at this. Who is going to be our leader? Let's find out. Me. <laughs> it's Noya! Definitely Noya! Alright, congratulations Noya. So that means you have to be... Uh, uh, you have to okay, be... Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, let's uh, now let's select our timekeeper. Here we go. And that is El Fishy. What's up? El Fishy. So all you have to do is just uh, maybe you have a clock somewhere in your room or maybe you have a watch on your wrist. When I say 10 I mean, minutes is st starting like, now. Uh, I put my phone on like one computer so I can Excellent. see the... Oh, um, wonderful. Oh. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. English palette? Yes. English palette. Uh, yes. Uh, Jack, uh, sorry. Um, yeah. I, uh, can I take over um, El Fishy's uh, timekeeping job? Uh, I could uh, keep track of time. Okay. Okay. If that's the case, okay, that's fine. Okay. So I, I will switch you at the end. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see. Our active participant is going to be. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Alec! Alex, I hope I you're going work. to talk your head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. And Sapphire. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, Sapphire. Here we go. Sapphire. Yes, you need to talk a lot now. Do you feel the pressure? Just kidding. There's no pressure here. This is a friendly class. Here we go. Who is our, time? Who is our devil's advocate? Oh, okay. Gun, you have a double roll. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gun Gramier, you are our devil's advocate. And who is going to be our summarizer? Rendan, I think there's a pretty good chance of you being our summarizer. In fact, it's 100%. Um, uh, I will try, Mr. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, excellent, guys. Um, so once again, if you are joining us right now on Discord and you don't know what this is about, this is an English lesson where we practice our discussion skills. It is streamed to Twitch and YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So feel free to uh, open up another tab of your browser. Go to twitch.tv slash English spot or just click on my profile on Discord and you'll find the link that will take you there. We are discussing crime uh, and the questions are on the screen. Leaders, leader, which is uh, Noya, are you ready to take this away? Sir. Okay, excellent. Are you ready? Yes, are we all ready? Then let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's okay. jump to the first question, okay? Yes. Sure, okay, sure, the first sure. question, is, is crime a, a big problem in your country? What types of crime are especially problematic in there? Okay. Uh, uh, are you going to start, Noya? Oh, it's starting. It's already started. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I think I'll start off with the uh, first question. Um, crime okay. is, 
is a problematic uh, uh, is a big problem in my country which is the Philippines uh, especially the crimes uh, illegal uh, of illegal drug trade human trafficking arms trafficking uh, murder corruption and uh, domestic violence and uh, it uh, like uh, like what is said in a Wikipedia page that uh, the Philippines has a very high rate of uh, murder case so <laughs> even though we are known for the being very polite uh, there are a lot of people who commit crime so yeah crime is a very big problem in my country how about uh, you Noya? Okay, uh, about me, uh, is a crime big problem in my in my country? It's really big problem because you know, uh, in my country, the um, the number of the per or the person of uh, the crime in Indonesia is really high. By the way, there is a lot of spoliation and then murderer, uh, um, steal or something like uh, human trafficking too. Uh, mm -hmm. illegal drugs, uh, illegal mm -hmm. drugs transaction, transactions, and then sometimes it's a weapon, legal transaction. Maybe it's really big uh, problem in my country. So that's why I think like uh, cr crime is big problem. Mm -hmm. uh, how about yeah. you, Elfishi? Well, I live in the i think one of the first three countries who has the highest murder rates or and for example is venezuela so for example in my country some criminals control certain areas of the capital mm -hmm. and the, the what they do is usually like drug trafficking kidnap uh, homicides uh, and anything that what you think and I think it's a very big problem here because, you know, the people don't usually do much, like the government don't usually much to, don't usually do much for the stop it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I live in like an apartment and the guy who cleans the floor in like, we have like a lot of apartments. I, I don't know how to say it good in English, but, but basically a couple of apartments and the guy who cleaned the floor, I think he got murdered in like the upside, like the building. Yeah uh for a pair of shoes or something uh wow wow and the house i live in right now was from my uncle who escaped to colombia for the government thing and some people entering his house to rock him and like rock him for you know for things and my, a lot of us all my family get robbed in any in some moment my uncles get like you know murdered for so nice. money he was carrying with you like, was doing a job for uh, wow that's just shocking mm -hmm. yeah. and and his friends too you know i don't want to like say he just died because you know he, his I friends see. too and well what i can say yeah so, so basically all some all my family basically get dropping anymore in uh, some moment that's, and yeah i think it's a very big well, problem that's, that's nice. because yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in Venezuela, like mm -hmm. the people. So about the other. Yes. What about and the so, others? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so what yeah, about the other? Are crimes about are you, especially... uh, All right. Oh, so okay. I'm thinking I'm going to discuss about my country, uh, which I stayed for most. I think it's the United Kingdom. I think okay. the United Kingdom itself, um, as far as big crimes and so on. I mean, it's quite common corruption, etc. But like the biggest pet peeve for me is actually the amount of mugging that mugging, theft, burglary, homicide, etc. That this has happened, especially in everyday community, especially in the tube even, because it's not it's not uncommon to see someone getting mugged, robbed, or even killed for their possessions in the tube in the United Kingdom, and it's so common that sometimes people are not even prosecuted, people aren't even getting the justice for their uh their stolen stuff possession as a matter of fact a lot i think phantom has taken more than half of what happened actually was never recovered for example you have some jewelry on you you got mugged got a knife like uh, on the side of your throat and you got stolen the jewelry etc more than half of the time it's never actually gotten back 
and it's one very niche very minor crime however its frequency is just so much as a matter of fucking 3.3 million um in 2019 and 2020 alone and it's just insane it's just absurd and for me it should have had something the authority should have looked into it further because it happened in tube in everyday community even i see i see okay mm -hmm. so, uh, what shall we do guys we have four minutes so left yeah, we, we, so how about uh, the others yeah. does anyone else want yeah, to uh, share yeah their um, in switzerland yeah. oh wait did i just okay yeah that's what i said Okay. Yeah, we, we have a very low uh, rate of crime, but if anything happens, it's mostly theft and um, aggravated assault. Um, and that too happens in very low levels. So I don't see any merit in this question for me. So I think we can move on to some other so, questions. Yeah, um, I think we could move on to a question number two. Okay, okay. So, um... okay we jump to the, to the question number two. What makes some people become criminal? Is it poverty? upbringing, lack of education, unemployment, or something else? Um, if no one would like to start, I would like to start this uh, question. Uh, like what I said earlier uh, in the first question, illegal drug trade, human trafficking, arms trafficking, murder, corruption, and domestic violence is very, uh, very uh, common here in the Philippines. Um, the main reason, uh, peop uh, the main reason that people point to is that their uh, uh, it's poverty, their upbringing, uh, sometimes lack of education about, for example, the drug, tra uh, the use of drugs. Uh, some people do not know the effects of uh, drugs, if, uh, though I think nowadays it's uh, very common knowledge, and. Uh, um, a lot of uh, a lot of people are uh, a lot of Filipinos are poor. Like uh, a lot of uh, yes. like a lot of people go to uh, big cities uh, only to be uh, ruined because of uh, poverty and corruption. So yeah, um, it's a mix. It's a mix of uh, poverty, upbringing, lack of education, uh, unemployment and uh corruption so yeah uh how about the others okay okay uh, okay, uh okay. Yeah. i will yeah. bring my opinion so okay. uh yeah. what makes some people become criminal okay uh you know in, in indonesia uh, a lot of uh, people why doing criminal is uh, because of lack of lack of education and unemployment because uh, i don't know there's a lot of red people or uh, uh, people unemployment in Indonesia and the lack of education because mm -hmm. education is not spread really good in Indonesia so that's why I think it's the, one of the problematic why there's a people a lot of people in Indonesia uh, mm, doing a criminal so that's the thing from me how about the others I think I'm gonna add um, okay. I'm gonna add yes, um, right? uh, so um, okay some statistics I have collected uh, they say that the causes of crime are very complex. Poverty, parental neglect, and low self-esteem all cause crimes. And most of the crime, uh, violent crime, 79% of it is done by men. So why is it so? So uh, research um, has shown that, that the men have, yeah, so the men have, uh, you know, the burden to take care of the family. And because in most of the majority of the society in the world, like in African countries and in Asia, uh, a man is still the head of the household, um, slowly is changing, surely, but that's um, the case, right? And also, um, there is there are two types of approaches to understanding crime. One is the individualist approach, and the next one is collectivist. So individuals, uh, basically what they say is, uh, a guy has a personal weakness and uh, he cannot uh, alter his spike and stuff. He doesn't have a control uh, over what he's doing. So it's all psychological and they should suffer the consequences. So if there is more punishment... Time extended, by the way. Time extended. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. If there's more punishment than the incentive to stop doing crime, they'll actually stop doing crime. And the collectivists actually feel that the society as a whole is one unit. And um, a baby, when born, he doesn't know anything. They don't know anything. But as they grow up, they tend to understand all these biases and build up different feelings, right? 
So uh, they say that criminals can change. So we should treat society as one unit to provide more equal opportunities to another. And equality of income is a very uh, good, great factor, distribution of income uh, that we should uh, strive to equalize. So crime happens less often. I see, I see. So uh, I think I, I agree uh, kind oh, yeah. of that with fire, but I think I could justify that the motive of crime is its three, two criterions actually. Where is desperation or greed? That's, in my opinion, the two categories we need to consider. And some of the most of the cases of crime, and especially in developing countries such as Indonesia, that was mentioned before, it's because of the poverty, unemployment, and they were desperate to get an income. Therefore, crime is actually committed because they are forced to, as a matter, because they cannot provide for their everyday basis because as, there's no support from the government, no support from the country, no support from their job. However, there are also incidents of crime, especially in the developed countries, such as the United Kingdom. There's often crimes driven by gangs and ego, and as a matter of fact, even just they want to live a luxury life. I think it's also to bring it up. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very weird case, right? Uh, we have a developed country here, and the distribution of income is actually improving. But if we look at Denmark, uh, the, the crime is too low. It's because uh, mm -hmm. the distribution of income is too uh, very equal. But when you compare it to the hierarchy in the UK, uh, women get paid less and uh, men, uh, you know, they still have a gender paid wage gap. So we see an increase in the crime by women aged 26 to 30, according to the statistics collected by BBC. And also, uh, I find merit in what you're saying, actually, that's what I told. I uh, just kind of paraphrased it, but you added a few new points too. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I'd say providing an equal distribution of income and also educational opportunities to let people escape the vicious cycle of poverty, as we economists call it. Um, yeah, it is a way for poverty, I think uh, what happened with poverty in most developing countries is that it's systemic. The meaning of systemic means the system has actually brought them to spiral down to poverty further. For example, people who cannot afford sufficient uh, education, they could not get better jobs and eventually they will gain less income and the spiral just keeps going downhill. So I think that's the thing where government should have or any institution really, or any just something above them should have stepped in to actually bring their skills up to more equal sense. Yes. Doesn't public schools I... come into play when it comes to education? This is just an example, Alex? meaning that, yeah? How do you guys plan on no, right. resolving the parental neglect? Government can't do anything about it, so do you have any ideas? Maybe? Um... I... As a matter of fact, I would argue to an extent government could have done something because as I said, uh, some certain aspects of poverty, if not, I mean, I didn't necessarily mean all, but it's a great significant portion of it is because it's something systemic and unsupported. And if state said government actually did a small attempt to that support, I think a great portion of it could have actually been done. Mm -hmm. Very uh, interesting. I see, I see, I see. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, since we're running out of time, uh, it's less than one minute. Uh, I think we should uh, end it here. Let's jump to the <laughs> next to the third no, 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 you never end it. You don't want to give up. You don't want okay. to give up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does, any, does anyone want to share a last minute point of view? There you go. Yes. Good strategy. <laughs> okay, no, yeah. No, or we're we gonna jump to the next question. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think uh, we can do it. So, yeah, uh, I it, it we're less than 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. This I think is so we're so we're 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 last right, yeah. That's why I'm, I'm asking you. Yeah. I just want to say, man, it's nice uh, hearing you again, Sapphire. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three, two, this one, I always one. bring Sapphire in here. Time's up. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. This was awesome. This was just awesome. What a great, what a great uh, discussion. Okay, wait, wait a second. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Uh, wait a second. We're not done yet. What about our summarizer, Rendang? Are you still here, Rendang? Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Oh, awesome. Great. So what do you think? Can you just share maybe two points of interest that uh, you heard during this discussion? Something that was interesting or fascinating, or surprising? Share it with the audience, okay? Summarize it for us. Uh, I will try first. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm summary with this discussion. Uh, discussion. Uh, 
uh, on the side of a uh, problem about uh, crime problematic uh, exam uh, human trafficking, murder, drugs, mm-hmm. illegal, yes. illegal weapon and corrupts. Uh, and a reason, uh, and a reason is a uh, lack of uh, education and employment and proof proof the most mostly because uh un- unprepared and unspot uh, system of government. Oh, uh, that's it. I see. Uh, Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you for summarizing it for us. That was awesome. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Okay, that's yeah. great. Okay. Uh, sorry, who's speaking now? Noya, was that you? Uh, no. Hey, El Fishy. Yeah. How was it? Um, it was your I first time here. Like, mm-hmm. like, like something. Uh, I don't think anyone is forced to be a criminal. Like. If you are in like a country who has like a lot of like welfare state, for example, like UK, and you be a criminal because you want to be a criminal. Oh, you want I see. Okay, so it's and because look, of personal someone, choices. If someone gonna gonna come to me with a knife and tell me to and tell me to give him my phone or something, and then telling me that he's a victim of the system, well, I I don't I don't buy that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, excellent. Well, listen, guys, a lot of great points raised in this discussion. I, but I wonder, let's reflect now about on this on this time that we spent together talking. And if you can just maybe highlight one positive aspect that you really are happy about, that you were able to communicate something. And then maybe if you can just mention something that you wish you could have improved. Uh, who wants to go first? So it's reflection time now. Let's reflect on this debate, this discussion. Participants, Alex, Alex. All right. Okay. Yeah. How did you do? I think I've done quite well. Mm-hmm. Um, once mm-hmm. I, I realized I did good office, actually, I could find a really good critical points really quickly responding to the arguments that have been said before. However, one of my weaknesses, actually, I did not actually develop my points before actually putting it out there. And meaning that I already have a general gist of what I've got to say, mm-hmm. but I wasn't able to find the right words in time. So I think I realized in the end of one sentence, I actually stuttered a little bit. Okay, so what do you yeah. think? How can you improve it? I think just by practicing more, no? Yeah, it's actually more Excellent. of a practice thing. Yes, so I'm so glad you're here. We're doing just that. We're practicing. Excellent. Yeah, I like this a lot. Excellent. I'm so glad you're here. And Sapphire, what about you? How did it go for you? Um, I basically said nothing for the first question. I was like, okay, guys, no crime happens here. Let's move on. Mm-hmm, that's okay. So, uh, yeah, I could have I could have researched further about it, but uh, and um, I w- I wanted to present more data, but I wasn't able to. Mm-hmm. And the thing that, that I kind of did well was um, yes, uh, I, w- I was able to use the data, positive data, I have to find normative references and um, basically present them in a very engaged manner. I, that's that's what I think at least, and I think everyone got my point across. So Excellent. I'm very glad that I did. Excellent. Yeah, very good. Thanks. Very good. Anybody else wants to share their experience? Me. Yes, Gun, go ahead. Yes. I, How did it go for so, you? Yeah. Um, first, the positive side. Um, uh, like the last time, I maintained the uh, efficient packaging of my message and tried to uh, give it uh in a much effi- in a efficient way mm-hmm. and worded it yes. uh, much more uh, in a efficient way as well uh, but the negative side um not I, negative something that you could improve mm-hmm. yeah i got improved yes. again <laughs> i kept say- i kept saying negative um, <laughs> the thing that i could uh, improve uh, again is my uh, my ongoing uh, delay uh, delaying mm-hmm. of my opinion and my construction of thoughts. Ah, I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. So maybe, um, well, I think you've already thought about the answer before uh, coming on the show, right? Uh, on the show, I yes. call it the show. It's a, it's uh, a lesson, but yeah. <laughs> it's like a show, isn't it? <laughs> I actually did mm-hmm. come up with a, the answer, but uh, when it came to the time of me delivering it, uh, I I stutter. I what do you call this? I lack uh, the confidence 
mm-hmm. even though I am very, uh, even though I'm this talkative, uh, I lack the confidence to, uh, uh and lo- uh, easily lose my composure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see. It's time to uh, present my idea. So, oh, perhaps means... I don't know. From uh, from my end, it doesn't look so uh, so bad. So don't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> but yeah, if you feel that way, I think again, it's just going. It's going to come with more practice, right? More time of you yes. interacting, listening to others, and speaking. I think. Mm-hmm. Great, excellent. Hey guys, once again, a big round of applause to all of you. Amazing, amazing job. Thank you. And um, now... Wait, wait, can I? Yes. Yes, Alec. Before can I... just say something that... Um, one thing that I admire mm-hmm. is Steph, how Sapphire could have... Read, like, he did bring up relevant data really quickly and really relevant to the mm-hmm. argument. And something that I admire because he actually bring a depth of realism to the argument, whereas most of the time, even me... All I say is it should have been this, it should have been that, whereas the fire brings matter in a more pragmatic point of view, and I think that must be credited for. That's great. Kudos to Sapphire for being so pragmatic with data and supporting details. That's great. <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Good job. Was excellent. <laughs> right, excellent. And now it's time for feedback from the teacher. All right. So guys. For our first round, usually, you know, as you know, our first round of discussions is usually rough. Uh, it, sometimes it's very slow, and it wasn't the case with uh, with today's topic, right? You guys were right into it. You used the time to its maximum. Uh, I think most people were able to uh, get involved and 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 just you know speak their mind. And actually, your arguments were very clear. I appreciate some of you brought in uh, personal anecdotal evidence, which is also important especially about question number one. You give examples of crime from your own uh, contexts. That's great. I also must commend you on on the use of verbal feedback. You guys were really good at this. Uh Uh-huh, yes, mm -hmm. I've heard it numerous (laughs) times. And I think you consciously thought about using it, right? Because I mentioned it, I really hope that that was the case because it really helped move the discussion along. I was also, you know, I cannot say that I can improve your discussion in, in, in any way, but maybe at the very end, there was this kind of a time of indecision. What shall we do? Uh, we have uh, 40 seconds left and shall we move on to the next question or just keep discussing this one? I think the final solution was brilliant. If somebody says, does anyone else have anything else to add? That was great. Uh, But perhaps uh, time management would be something that we could improve uh, in this round of discussions. Would you guys agree? Yes. Yes. But other than that, it was just great. Other than that, it was great. Thank you again. And and please stick around because who knows, we might be able to get you, bring you in for another uh, round of discussions. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. You did so well. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. And now... And now let me just introduce uh, something new in our program. And actually I'd like to make an announcement. Okay, I'd like to make an announcement. Uh, For our Friday's class, which is Friday at the same time, we would like to try to do a little debate. So uh, the topic for Friday's class will be, should university or college tuition be free of charge. So basically, should anyone be able to go to college or university for free? Yes or no? It's a yes, no question. So if you are interested in debating the yes side, yes, university tuition should be free for all, then please uh, send me send me a DM, a direct message on Discord and say, yes, I am ready and willing. I will be available on Friday to discuss free tuition and I'm supporting the yes side. If you want to argue against that point and say, no, university tuition should be paid uh, and you have your reasons for that, also send me a direct message on Discord and say, yes, I am available to argue on Friday at the same time. That's 1500 UTC, um, which is, well, whatever. Uh, It's the same time that usually we have our lessons. 
and I want to debate the no side. So once again, please uh, send me a, a direct message. Now, you need to be aware of the fact that you are expected to be here on time with your microphone, work, microphone working and you need to prepare a little bit for that. So what you need to do is be able to speak for five minutes on the, for this topic, right? So you need to maybe take some uh, notes uh, and write down points that you want to mention. So if you want to support the yes side, that a university tuition should be free for all, then you need to, in your opening statement will be five minutes long. So you need to speak for five minutes to support your point. And the same goes for the no side. So if you argue against that, you will need to have a prepared uh, speech or enough material to be able to speak for five minutes. And of course, uh, so the debate will be very informal. It will consist of opening speeches, opening statements by both sides. And after that, we will have a little bit of a back and forth and finally open up the floor to the audience to ask questions to both sides. So once again, Friday's lesson is a little English debate uh, where we practice these skills. We've been practicing uh, on a little bit larger scale. If you are confident that you can do it, please send me a direct message. Say, yes, I will debate uh, tuition, free tuition. Yes, free tuition no free tuition for colleges and universities this Friday. So you have two days, a day and a bit to prepare. Thanks again. And now we are ready to start our second round of discussions. Raise your hand if you want to be a part of this discussion on crime. Okay. I think um, I will, uh, I think I will leave for now. So okay. I can give fun for the other people who join in. Sure. This is quite a big class. I think oh, yes. be more very good. Yes. Oh, no. Thank you so much. Yes, you can leave or stick around. It's really up to you. But thank you, Alec. Thank you, Alec. That's great. And if you're joining us just now, uh, halfway through this show or lesson, this is a lesson, really. Uh, what we are doing is we are live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash English spot. We're discussing crime. So what I need you to do now is go there and look at the questions um, that are on the screen. And at the same time, uh, if you want to be a part of this discussion, please raise your hand right now and I will let you in and be a part of our panel. OK, so I can already see some hands are going up. Let's uh, ask if uh, Afila Difa, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Afifa. Uh, yes, thank you. Hey, Afifa, thanks so much for coming back. Uh, it's encouraging to see you uh, coming back. So Afifa, can I call you Afifa? Yeah, sure. That's okay. my real name. Excellent, Afifa. So you are already in the panel. Now, anyone else? Uh, I would like to give preference to our server members. So if you are a server member in the room, I see there's 50 people waiting. Uh, please raise your hand and I will just pull you in to be a part of this panel. Um, we have we have drunk cat would you like to be a part of this discussion drunk cat you have to unmute yourself yeah, my well, well hello sorry uh, are you using a voice changer oh, i would rather not have that can you disconnect disconnect your voice changer no no this is a, not a voice changer this is a, just a voice that i do so what's the crime about uh, okay, sorry. I, uh, you are a visitor to this server. Are you familiar with what we're doing right now? It's a lesson. It's an uh, English lesson. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. But I have a story to actually tell. Okay. Did you know I was... So... Okay, I'm sorry, so... but we, are, we don't have time for stories. I'm really sorry. We are go doing a lesson on crime and the questions are on the screen. Um, and is anyone else interested in joining this debate? Um... Okay, we have, well, if not, I'm going to play elevator music, guys. This is my form of punishment. <laughs> okay, we have 50 people nice. in the room. So please, um, please raise your hand right now. The questions we haven't covered yet are very controversial. For example, once a criminal, always a criminal. Do you think that people can change or not? That's a great question. Now, another question is, 
about prison system the prison system it seems to be that uh, univer someone says they are uh, universities for crime so that means basically um, criminals learn to do crime even better commit crimes with more sophistication uh, by being locked up in prisons so yes raise your hand right now if you want to be a part of this discussion um right now okay we already so far we only have one member afifa uh and a cell a cell hello would you like to be a part of this discussion we have to unmute your microphone hello a cell a cell or a cell how do you pronounce your name um axel but it's spelled weird Okay, no problem, Axel. Hey, so I'm glad we can hear you. Um, uh, would, would you be able to go to Twitch and to uh, open up another tab and see um, uh, and interact with us on the screen? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so it's twitch.tv slash English spot. And the questions are displayed there. Okay, we also have Synlux. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Synlux, hello, you have to unmute your microphone. Synlux, S-Y-N-N-L-U-X. Hi, I asked you to un to join us. Hi. Oh, no, Hi there. I, I didn't realize there was a button on top of the screen. Yes, yes. Okay, that's how it works. Thank you so much. Synlux, so yes, are you interested in discussing this topic? Yes. Excellent. Oh my god, I, I have to turn that off, sorry. No, yeah, no problem. No problem. It's okay. Great. Anybody else? We need three, about three more participants to continue. Um, it's like those amusement park rides, okay? Once you, uh, you have to load them all up on the merry-go-round, otherwise you cannot turn the machine on. So we are waiting patiently for more participants to join us. All right. Okay. So we have, we have three so far, right? Yes, we have Tarun. Wel welcome, Tarun. And Mohammed Reza, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Tarun? Uh, uh, hello. Yes. Excellent. And Mohammed, would you like to be a part of this discussion? Um, that was Mohammed. Yes, uh, that was Mohammed. Yes. Excellent. I can hear you. And what about Tarun? Tarun, <laughs> is your microphone working? Yes, I do. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah, I... yes. Can you pronounce your name for us uh, so that I don't mispronounce it? Okay, my name is Tarun. Okay, very good. Tarun, welcome. You are yeah. uh, you are yeah. part of this discussion. Marcus, would you like to be a part okay. of this discussion as well? Marcus. Oh, wait, um, I clicked that. That's okay, you can do it next time if you're not sure, that's fine. Okay. Okay, and what about the I just joined, so I. Mm -hmm. I just joined, so I'm not really. I'm I, not no really problem. Understand. Learner, how about you? Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Uh, I would love to be part of this discussion. Okay, very good. Learner, welcome. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and maybe one more. Kyoto, how about you, Kyoto? Would you like to be a part of this discussion on crime? You have to unmute your microphone. Kyoto, tap, tap your phone, whatever. Yes, so that we can hear you. Hello. Say hello. hello. Hi Kyoto. Hello. Hi Kyoto. Welcome. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Hello. Hi. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, yes, we can hear you. Can you hear us? No. I guess that's really too yeah. bad. <laughs> I can hear you, Lauren. Okay. So good. Excellent. Well, so uh, we just if you're just joining us right now, we are live on twitchtv spot and we are just selecting our group members and they're, they're assigning different roles so for example let's find out oops that is not what i wanted to do uh, copy that paste the names here we go let's find out who our discussion leader is going to be all right and it's tarun tarun you are the leader congratulations yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, Tarun, it's, uh, it's your responsibility making an... to make sure that there's no silence. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, very good. So okay, you first I am introducing myself. Okay, wait a second. Can I we, introduce we, myself? Yes, we haven't started yet, Tarun, but, uh, but okay. for now just uh, sit tight 
and now we'll go, we're choosing our timekeeper okay timekeeper is going to be uh Sinlux. What, what does the timekeeper do uh, all right it's like looking for time well no you are actively involved everyone is actively involved you just have an additional role of maybe pushing the conversation along if it gets uh slowed down or if there's silence okay so you might want to say okay. things like hey let's move on to the next question active participants here we go that's axel is it axel Axel, congratulations, and another active participant is going to be Kyoto, wonderful. Hold on, uh, what do you mean by active participants, because I'm pretty sure if a person wants to be, they can be, if I'm not wrong. Yes, are you part of this group? Uh, yeah, I am. Okay, yes, so... Of course, everyone is everyone is invited to speak. I'm just assigning additional roles. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, and wait a second. We didn't have you for some reason. Oh my gosh, my mistake. Afifa, I didn't copy the entire row of names. Afifa, let's see who is going to be our other active participant. That's Mohammed. Uh, Mohammed. Oh yes. What? You are going to be an active participant as well. So I'm just copying another row here. Mohammed. Okay, okay just hang, hang tight. Uh, just, just wait a little bit. Now, our devil's advocate is going to be... Learner. So, Learner, you, you voice your opinions as usual. And if everyone agrees and there is no discussion, then you start arguing for the opposite viewpoint. Afifa, you, vo you voice your opinions as usual, and then when, when we reach the end, you will also be asked to summarize two points of interest for everyone else. All right. Okay, that's great. Well, everyone, I am so excited. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. There are still questions that haven't been addressed yet, and we also have a question submitted by one of our students about innocent until proven guilty so scroll down to see that question if you want to address it all right once a criminal always a criminal let's see let's see if leaders leader are you ready to take this away and oh, yeah. that means tarun tarun you will be addressing the yeah say okay very good okay. in that case let's go time let's start go. Uh, can I yes. can I know where is the question? Oh, I can't see. Okay. I can't see. the question the question is number three we are looking at right now, which is there's an opinion of someone once a criminal, always a criminal. Do you agree with this opinion? Can people change? Support uh, your answer. Okay, this is okay. the floor is open. Anyone can just jump in and discuss this question. Um. Okay. All right. So. In order to answer this, you have to think about what is it that's causing this criminalization. In order to decriminalize someone, you have to teach them the proper ethics of what's acceptable in a moral society, right? So you have to give them what they didn't have before, which is proper ethics. And you have to tell them what they need to know or what they did not know before when they were committing these crimes. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think now about that? that? No, oh. now that would mean that said criminal had some kind of like, while growing up, something went wrong. Yeah, uh, I believe that criminals are formed by Mon um, Mace. I was about to say mainly and mostly, but it just got jumbled together, sorry. Uh, I believe that it's mostly a result of improper upbringing when they're not taught the proper morals and ethics, but I'm pretty sure that's just the basics that anybody can come up with when thinking of how people become criminals, that they were not taught right growing up. 
Okay, so I'm currently also Googling uh, while we're talking. And I am, uh, I am reading a short like text where some researchers uh, analyzed like 429 crimes committed by 133, uh, 34, uh, 43, sorry, I'm from Germany. We say the numbers the other way around. I hate this. <laughs> no problem. 143 offenders with three major types of mental illnesses. Because uh, uh, as far as I see it, most, it, it would, I think you would, it would be considered a mental illness if you grew up with wrong ethnics. Uh, ethnics? Mm. Ethics? Ethics? No, I don't think ethics. it's a mental illness because it's not something that's an inherent quality in that person. It's something that they were taught growing up. Okay, then that is. I'm just gonna close this tab. Okay. Then. Mm -hmm. Um, I think. Um, Meta. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, it's the floor is um, open. I think. Uh, Okay, uh, I think uh, the few person of the criminals are the mental, you know, have a mental illness or uh, are psycho or this kind of things. But the major of them um, are, you know, are normal people. I, I guess the crime is uh, born in the gap between what we want. Uh, as a normal people, we want money, we want, uh, you know, we want a happy life and the tool we have access to it when i can't you know get what i want in the normal way i use uh, some kind of tools that is illegal then that is normal i guess mm -hmm. interesting oh, yeah. opinion okay uh, can I... I, I yeah sure go ahead okay i think uh, i will uh that uh, from his childhood, there will be uh, situations created by sorrow, uh, environment so that they become a criminals. Like, uh, I can example, can I give an example? Like oh, yes, that? examples always help. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, okay. If you are, uh, you don't have any parents, you are abandoned, you don't have any food. So, what will we do? You you have two choice. One will you beg for someone to give something. So other one is to uh, rob rob robbing. So if you beg someone, they will don't give anything. So there is a second option. They definitely go with the only second option. So that situation will drives you on the second option. So I think I'm what I'm telling is. Uh, basically, the situation brings the people to these uh, criminal activities. So you must uh, eradicate uh, some changes in the people of very uh, childhood. Uh, you must do some changes in uh, child, so you can uh, eradicate the criminals. Yes, I agree with okay. that. Yes, that's, that's true, I guess. Okay, sorry for, I am a very beginner, so if you have any, speak any wrong, I'm very sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. No, no that's, that's great. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, we yeah. so we talked about mental illnesses and I just remembered like something that I, that I realized some time ago that was, that seems pretty stupid. The fact that uh, drug addicts are not treated as addicts, but as, uh, 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 criminals, which seems like counter uh, intuitive. No, wait. Yeah, okay, counter I, counterintuitive is a good word. Yes. Uh, it seems counterintuitive to put a drug addict in like prison, and not or like not not prison, but making them a criminal instead mm -hmm. of actually showing them showing the world and pretty much everyone mm -hmm. else what drug addicts are actually are maybe people that have a problem that need mm -hmm. help perhaps you're trying to say so, that it's unjust it's unjust to do that yeah 
Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's I think that's the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what do you guys think? And it's unjust to treat drug addicts as criminals. Do you agree with that? Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just looking at the time. We have three minutes. Would you like me to extend the time? Try to uh, maximize your opportunities. Jump in. There are other questions to discuss as well. Hello. Uh, okay, well, so... I. I... Um, come on, take, go on. Uh, so I'm I'm reading a a, a a a a a text, I guess about like uh, it says that in the U.S. half of federal prisoners are in jail for crimes related to drugs. Uh, and no, in no no in Norway. Oh my God, what is going? <laughs> I'm so bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, and apparently in Norway, they use, uh, they, they, uh, don't sentence like drug users to like a prison sentence or something, but to rehabilitate, rehabilitation, uh, which is, which I think is the correct way to do it with mm -hmm. drug addicts. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that. Uh, in my opinion, only works for drug addicts and a few other crimes. Uh, as an example, uh, another big thing that I think is sometimes wrong. Um, th now, this is going to get really controversial. Uh, pedophiles are also mentally ill, and I do not think that most of them should go in prison, but get like actual treatment maybe yeah maybe they should definitely get restricted on some rights especially if they did commit uh, a crime against a minor but i definitely do not think that i definitely think that pedophiles should have a chance to get the treatment that they need okay. i'm scared that i'm going to get a bunch of like angry dms <laughs> well, uh, what do you guys think? Do you need more time to discuss this question? Would you like to go on to another question or would anyone like to respond? Yeah. Well, um, I so think the, the, pedophilia the, is like... Sorry, what was I going to say? Uh, you start All right, give me a second. Like... Okay, I'll give you extra two minutes, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's... How about you, Kyoto? Uh, what's your opinion? Mm -hmm. For the most part, my opinion is the same as yours. Like, uh, as Tarun said. And for the lesser part? <laughs> yes. Huh? <laughs> yes, so for for the most part, he, he, he agrees. But there's also some things he doesn't agree with on. So, what are those parts? Uh, like Tarun said, when someone gets abandoned or he becomes an option, those two options are not always the only options he, he has left. There are things like we can do like uh, getting them to like calling the orphanages or getting them to putting them in orphanages to help them. Mm -hmm. Your microphone yeah, is a little uh, bit I'm faint. Little bit can you speak note. up a little bit uh, or speak closer to the microphone? Thank you. Yeah, that's... I think Hello. that's the problem with my microphone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we have okay, a minute to uh, go. Uh, so, what would you like to do? Okay, uh, I am uh, agree with uh, Kyoto. Uh, uh, there's a time comes in every criminal's life that uh, he or she has to decide how their life gonna be if they commit a crime that uh, derives with by their circumstances and their situations and their conditions too. Uh, if they decide to commit crime, they become criminal. And if they decide not to do a crime, but uh, do it uh, the things with another way, they uh, probably uh, they can uh, not become criminals. And uh, as Paul Dukishan says, once a criminal, always win. I am not agree with that. If a criminal uh, uh, realizing realizing its mistakes and uh, he is uh, he is able to uh, uh, 
take the responsibilities of their crime and uh, ha- if he uh, try to uh, correct the things that he did wrong uh the people change with okay. time and, uh, i think yeah thank you so much and on that note i must tell you we just ran out of time again thank you so much wow good job <laughs> wow that was another interesting discussion uh with some points um that were never raised before i think uh not in this class today well Who is our who is our summarizer? It's Afifa. Hi Afifa, are you still with us? Afifa seems to have left. No, I think she got disconnected early. Oh, I see. Well, in that no. in that case maybe someone would like to volunteer to summarize this discussion for us. I think we only did one question which is once a criminal always a criminal. What were yeah. some maybe all, all I ask you to do is to uh, maybe summarize it so that means maybe Ray just mention two points that were either fascinating you agree with or of of importance points of importance anyone uh i'd be up to do it sure mm-hmm. so we basically just said that drug addicts and other pe- uh, people with, uh, with mental illnesses mm-hmm. that are being portrayed as criminals often are not actually criminals but just people with problems that need help and proper treatment as an example uh pedophiles would need a treatment against their problems uh and we've also talked about how uh in general treating criminals as criminals might be the wrong way but uh treating everyone uh as someone that needs help might make uh make uh the whole spectrum spectrum i don't know mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh of criminals better and i just completely forgot what we just said okay i'm so sorry <laughs> no my problem. brain just kind of hey no problem just delete it i'm also trying to multitask here i'm trying to discuss uh, some details with people on the messages here okay very good and i'm back to to you guys right now so please excuse me for doing that as well Okay. Well, that was a pretty good summary. I think this the one point that you mentioned this the, the idea that not all of them are criminals but some of them are people who have problems and they need to be helped. Uh well, I don't know if it's uh if it's if it's two options that are exclusive because breaking the law means you are a criminal, but it can also mean that you are a criminal who needs help. uh and so on right so i don't think these two options are exclusive uh, you know uh mutually exclusive right but uh but it's an interesting point so thank you so much how now would you like to guys re- uh, the participants of the second round of this discussion would you like to uh kind of uh, reflect on your performance things that went well things that could be improved anyone would like to share a few words before we move on There's oh, silence. Okay, Kyoto and then Mohammed. Kyoto, you go first, then Mohammed. No, I don't think I have any because I just sent a sorry, I just said a sentence. Yes. So, well, what the you the thing that you said is positive. That's great. I'm glad that you are able to speak on the public platform. That's wonderful. I think that's commendable. Well, and the fact that you didn't say more than that, it's something it's something you could improve on, right? <laughs> <laughs> right excellent good Mohammed what about you how did you do um well um, I, I want to comment on the previous section mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I I you know I agree with this uh, opinion that uh, it said some of them are mental illness and some some of them are have a disease you know mm-hmm. uh, for doing what he, they did. But this is not a you know excuse for them. Mm-hmm. If uh, anyone have any illness you know, or disease or mental illness to do such a thing, they should you know they should pay for that. After that, they can uh, you know reach the reach the you know 
the medicine they need. Mm -hmm. Just that. Oh, I see. Well, thank you so much. I was just kind of asking about how you, that's an interesting point, but I just wanted to ask you how you did in this debate, whether you think you were able to communicate clearly and what kind of things would you improve if you have, were given another chance? Well, um, I think things is just, just good. good. I don't have any mm -hmm. comments. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Guys. Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much, guys. Well, in that case, let me give you some feedback. Here's time for feedback from the teacher. Second round of discussions. Um, I think it was a particular makeup of the group that it was a bit slower. But that doesn't mean it's negative comment. You know, things can be discussed slowly, even though it's a time discussion. But uh, I think you stayed on topic. You uh, you'd addressed question number three. Uh, which let me bring it up again it was the idea once a criminal always a criminal there were interesting points raised if i were to improve this i would probably say time management and we needed some kind of leadership so we needed the leader to just uh you know uh prompt uh, individuals with questions and ask them their opinions without that you know sometimes the discussion just falls apart so i hope that whoever is the leader next time uh, realizes that hey I am in charge I have to make sure that everyone is talking right guys so other than that I think the discussion was good it was a great attempt and of course this topic is difficult so I commend you for trying I commend you for trying and doing your best again excellent good job a, a big round of applause and now, everyone, don't go away because we are going to uh, get into our third round of discussions on crime. But before that, let me just tell you, if you want to support this channel, uh, we are on twitch.tv slash English spot. Uh, and basically, I'm showing you right now ways that you can support it. You can become a member on a regular basis. You can donate if you want just once or you can also book a private lesson if you want if you're a teacher and you want me to come into your classroom and do a workshop or a workshop at your institution I can do that as well uh, well there is a schedule where you can follow our next lessons so please make sure you follow all the social media links as well um, and what else well of course please join the English hub which is this amazing discord server we're on right now um, and there's a link here on the screen if you want to buy me a coffee to keep me unenergized and keep me going this is the link you would use and supposedly we've just seen it today when somebody buys me a coffee something happens on the screen um, wow i'll be excited to see that again thanks all right guys well we still have a couple of questions which we haven't addressed first of all um, this famous quote by Piotr Kropotkin who said that prisons are universities of crime do you think uh, it's, it makes no use to put uh, prisoners in prisons because they learn just they l learn to uh, commit more sophisticated crimes there they get degrees in crime uh, do you agree with that or not and if you disagree if you agree then what other forms of punishment would you propose rather than uh, prisons and finally, question number five, uh, what do you think about minors committing crimes? So should they be punished in the same, to the same extent as adults or should there be a more lenient laws for them? All right, everyone. Well, let's get started. Uh, raise your hand and, and I will ask you to, to join our discussion panel. All right. Very good. So we have Bo. Hello, Bo. Would you like to be a part of this discussion? Hello, Bo. You need to unmute your microphone. Is your microphone working? I guess not. We cannot hear you, Bo. Mr. Pepper, how about you? Hello. Hi, Mr. Pepper. Would you like to be a part of this discussion on crime? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sure, excellent. Sure. excellent. How's my microphone, by the way? I'm on... I'm, I'm using my microphone for a long time. Is it is it all good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I can hear you quite well. Okay. Mm, good Thank job. You. Thank you. Just hang, hang, uh, stay in this room because we'll start shortly. Lala, how about you? Would you like to be a part of this discussion, Lala? Hello, Lala. You need to unmute yourself. Hi. 
Is your mic working? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Would you like to take part in this discussion on crime? Yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. I just need to confirm, right? I don't want to put anybody on the spot unless they are willing. Arcane, Arcane47, would you like to be a part of this discussion on crime? Hello? Yes, yes, I would like to. Okay, very good. Arcane. Can I call you Arcane? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, let me just spell that right though. Arcane. Okay, here we go. And we also have um we also have another person, Copy Ninja. Copy Ninja. Hello. Would you like to take part in this discussion? Of course. Of course. Okay, uh, you just your mic is muted, so you might have to speak up or speak move closer to the mic. So copy ninja. Okay, copy mm. ninja. Interesting, interesting nickname. Here we go. And we also have. Um, well, anybody else? I know El Fishy is seems to be interested. Uh, so do we want people for? coming in for the second time. El Fishy and Afifa, would you like to join us again? Hello? Yeah. Hi, I'm yeah, hello. Hello. I, I wish to do it, sir. Yeah. Okay, very good. And Afifa? Uh, sorry, Afifa, is it? Yeah, I'm back. I have to go. Okay, uh, can you stay this time uh, for the duration? Yeah. Okay, sorry, very good. No problem. Mm -hmm. All right, so it seems like we have six participants already. If you want to, um, um, yes, thank you so much for your participation. Excellent. Let's see who our leader is going to be. All right. And it's Arcane. Arcane. Arcane, are you looking at the questions on our Twitch channel? Because that is going to be crucial. Okay, twitch.tv yes, slash English spot. Are, uh, Excellent. Yes. And our timekeeper is Mr. Pepper. Mr. Pepper. Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh, Pepper. okay. Um, so basically, everyone is discussing their views as normal. It's just some people have mm -hmm. additional roles. Mm -hmm. Your role as the timekeeper mm -hmm. is to watch the clock, the timer, and if you know, if you feel like the discussion is not moving forward, then just suggest uh, mm -hmm. that we go on to the next question. Okay. All right, but um, but normally you would discuss questions as normal. Like yes, you, you are just an active right. participant, just like everyone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. And also, the is there a specific time that I have to maintain for every speaker? Uh, no, we, it just uh, you are given you're given ten minutes to start, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the timer is on the screen, so you can just uh, basically watch that if you can. Which screen? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. We are on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash English Spot. English okay. Spot. Yes. So if you, all right, all right. yeah, please head over there. And our active participant was obviously El Fishy. Okay, El Fishy. Congratulations. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Sorry, sorry. I was doing something. What's up? No problem. You just stick around. We're starting in just a hot second. And yeah, yeah. Our other, another active participant is uh, Copy Ninja. Copy Ninja. And who's going to be our devil's advocate? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Lala. Lala, your job is to argue the opposite viewpoint if in case the discussion is uh, is stalled, if there's basically nothing to discuss, okay? And okay. And finally, we have Atifa is going to be our summarizer. Okay. But that doesn't mean you just summarize, you are actively involved in the discussion, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, because last time you didn't get a chance to summarize, something happened and you got disconnected. All right, everyone. So we have our roles on the screen. Aka Arcane is here, right? Uh, Doc Mr. Pepper, not Dr. Pepper, Mr. Yeah. Pepper. El Fishy, Copy Ninja, Lala, and Afifa. Now, if later maybe others want to join, I will unmute you as well, maybe during the discussion. But for now, we are discussing maybe questions four and five. Prisons as universities of crime. And what about the minors? What about the minors? 
All right, the leader, Arcane, are you ready to take this away? And let's get started, yes? Uh, yes, so we... Uh, let's have go! Right? Yes, you have. You can start with question yeah. number four. All right, time start. Yeah, so prisons are universities of crime maintained by the state. So I, to some extent, agree to this point where prisons do are universities of crime because there are such violent actions taken against the uh, criminals and, uh, you know, like sometimes the big crime is to, uh, my voice is echoing back if, if somebody can... Mm -hmm. Is unmuted. My voice is echoing back. Sorry. Okay, no. no, you're good. You're good, Arcane. Just keep going. Okay, so, so uh, yeah, to some extent, there are crimes where people have their own side of the story, and uh, that needs to be told. But every time when there is like a crime, so it is always considered to be as like most of the time it is considered to be as severe and people are just put into uh, jails and prisons and all so i think that sometimes like instead of putting people into prisons and jails uh, it's necessary to listen to their part of the story as well and uh, to give them the proper counseling that they need to because sometimes people are going through some uh, mental illnesses and uh, you know the points that we discussed in the previous question that we were having during the previous discussion with the previous group so I really do think to some extent that this point is uh, correct uh, but at some like sometimes uh, things happen that people even after counseling are not accountable for their actions and they are not ready to take up the responsibility and sometimes they, uh, you know, even after counseling, they do not want to improve or there are some things that they don't want to change. So I think for those, prisons are good, but to some extent uh, where uh, the people are like, uh, they are forced to do some time or their conditions aren't uh, good. So I think that is uh, the main point over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all. Okay, so well, prisons... Well, for me... Mm -hmm. uh, okay, sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. I think, I think I agree with that, that statement. Prisons are universities of crime maintain, maintained by the state because... Um, I know some people don't regret what they did. And they, after they get out from the prisons, they keep doing it. And they learn more about uh, <laughs> some of the crimes they they do bigger crimes after they get out of prisons because 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 they they met another how do we say people mm -hmm. who do crime <laughs> yes well it's basically what you're saying <laughs> you is know. that that they are net networking. The prison is used for networking, yeah. developing more uh, yeah. more criminal relationships. I'd like to add to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, the thing you said about them being released and going out into society and causing even more problems, I don't think that's likely. Just because they probably at this point if they've been jailed then they have learned their lesson and i obviously think that the authorities are going to be a little bit more stricter on them obviously going to be tracking in a more strict way what they're doing right after they're released and yeah i don't think it's going to be much of a problem like much of a concern whether or not they're going to cause break cause bigger problems because i mean i'm pretty sure if they've been jailed for a certain amount of time they have already learned the consequences the repercussions and yeah i don't think that's a concern especially with how much how much authority is on them after they're released into society and how much people are keeping, especially the government, is keeping a watched eye on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. 
I can speak now? Yes, 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 of course. Yeah, so like, I think it depends on the prison. I don't think it, like, if you got a prison and you got an inmate smoking weed, like, right there in front of you, you don't know nothing, they're gonna teach the another inmates that, and they're gonna, but, you know, they're gonna just make their own community right there, and they don't gonna be like, who uh, is Calais? They, they don't gonna be that uh, serious about don't saying anything about crimes and all of that stuff because it's just like a culture they're living in the prison. But I think if you get a prison, like if you control a prison, like who is the guy who controls a prison? I don't know. I don't know right now, but you know what I mean. Uh, if you are the guy and you see it, hey, doing that, you should you know just call thing out and you know make repression of, like repress of of content. Because they do something bad and they should get punishment for that. You should make the life of inmates very hard in prison. I think maybe they're gonna think twice of going therapy. Yeah, they obviously have thought twice because of the limits that are on them now that they're imprisoned. They obviously are thinking twice about their actions and all of that. I think that's the case most of the time with inmates and you know how the government is really strict on them and they're in jail for a specific reason right so yeah they obviously do have the authorities limiting what they do and keeping uh, yeah, so. i'm sorry go ahead oh, 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 oh la, 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 last thing yeah. well one second let me say a last thing is that i think the penalty should be higher for sale yeah the thing about um, increasing the penalties is you, you you might not know because it might also backfire. That's the thing about changing anything about the prison system. I mean, as for us as a normal citizen, it's really hard to judge and give uh, a rule set set of rules for an ideal prison system because, like um, El Fishi said, increasing the punishment and making it more severe that might sound fair when you think about it. But then think, uh, think it from this perspective. If you make it even more harsh than that person, that criminal who's getting treated uh, harshly, of course, you might, you might argue that it is what he deserves for, for the crime that he did. But his, his um, approach to things and his approach to the punishments is not the same uh, as uh, his, uh, our approach to the punishments. So it might also backfire and he might, he might become even more vengeful even more revengeful than uh, how he was before because he might start to hate the human community because they're treating him badly because his definition of right and wrong is completely different from the ideal right and wrong that we as a society have. Yes, have, and uh, I, yes, I, totally, um, I know, yeah. I think that oh, okay. the uh, involvement crime just because they have been through those conditions, they've been through, the, uh, through that strictness and all of that authority throughout their lives, so I think that's uh, most of the time they're uh, in this crime thing. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, they already good. have suffered from all of those, and once they suffer from all of this hate again, they're gonna be, you know, cause more hate yeah. towards uh, the other people. Okay. And the reason why it isn't much of a concern about whether they become more vengeful, wanting to commit more of these acts, the reason why it is not much of a concern is because the government is already keeping track of those kinds of things. I mean, how do you think that the authorities are going to let loose on a person once they find out? that the person is a criminal do you think that the authorities and the government is going to not keep an extra eye on that person so obviously they have a lot stricter uh, authority a lot a lot more limitations to what they can and cannot do and obviously there's an extra eye on them once they're released so i don't think it's much of a concern whether they'll disrespect the laws again but that depends on each person you know i interrupt real quick okay. yes, yes yes please just join um, us uh, by the way guys so, uh, just a, a second of... just a second though uh, we only have 30 seconds would you like me to extend the time yes yes please yes, yes please. okay so i'll give you a few more minutes let's go 
I've done uh, quite a bit of research into criminal justice. Um, and to be honest, you are right. Um, rates of arrest do go down after someone has been arrested for the first time, uh, especially in minors. But when the sentence is more harsh, studies actually show that the um, rates of arrest after they've been released actually go up. So are you saying that uh, they, the longer they are in prison, the more educated they become about committing more no, sophisticated yeah. crimes? Time doesn't really seem oh, to have yeah. a factor exactly. in it. Mm -hmm. It's more like the harsher the penalty. You know like what? The mm -hmm. harsher I think, they're treated by I the think I know the guards. reason for that. I see, I see. Okay, Okay, so the reason for that might just be that after they've experienced such a long, long penalty, it might turn them into miserable criminals rather than just people who uh, are in jail it might just make them miserable and make them want to be disobey the law make them vengeful of the legal system and all of that exactly so I what i was trying to say earlier yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and that is just because uh, they were treated like uh, with hatred in the jails in the prison yeah, yeah, so I think that the punishment should be there, but it should be a bit more lenient than a long penalty. Mm -hmm. uh, can I say something? Uh, I think the criminals should, like, in a welfare and jail, they should like, do a work. Like, for example, here in my country, like, in the 1450s, I think the criminals make the, the highways, you know, all of that, where they the cars pass. I think they still do that. Like, they like, I mean, go to work and go to be honest and go to be a, like a real, like a real human being, like what you need to do in life. Not just be a, like, be there in the jail doing nothing and smoking like weed or something. Mm -hmm. I think there, there is that rule in a few countries. It depends on the country, the a few countries uh, and they social service. Exactly. A few countries have the law that once you're out of the prison after serving your sentence, whatever that is, you're supposed to um, uh, do a certain number of hours of social service. Uh, it can be something like what you just said, like painting the roads or doing any community service. And it, it depends on the country, I guess. But yeah, I, I see your point. I think they should make it universal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the mandatory service is a part of what makes the penalty not too lenient. Like, there's still work to do, and, you know, it's in prison. I don't think you should just keep the inmates in there for, for however long their penalty is. I believe that they should be given something to do. They should be given work. I don't think it should be just restricting them from all of society and all of the things that they can possibly do. And on that note, guys, on that note, guys, on that that note I think oh we just God. ran out of time. <laughs> well, do you want to talk more? Do you want to talk more? Okay, I could no, give I you... No, I think it's uh, pretty yes. good. No, I think I'm it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. How about how we about just like tackle the last question, which is what about vinyl, violent crime for minors? Should they be treated the same as adults or differently? So let's just say I'll give you three minutes for that one. Okay, just three minutes. Okay, so uh, talk your head off, guys. Go. You know, with, with minors... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think they're a lot more susceptible to be taught the right things rather than adults who have this wrong mentality, this violent kind of tendency and this violent kind of mentality. I believe that minors are a lot more successful when being they taught about the right ethics and morals when, when they're able mm -hmm. to have the right mentality on society and their view can definitely change a lot easier than if an adult were to write the learn uh, or learn the right ethics and moral codes. Well, I, I think yeah, same. Depends. if I had to... Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I think it like, depends on the age of minor because I don't think... Uh, 10 years old should get like treated equal to an adult, but I think at 16, 17 years old, yeah, they should be. 
o sin that age, you already know, like, kill someone or rob someone or do another bad thing with someone, it's bad. Okay, interesting. My opinion, I also think like opinion, but I personally... Yeah, jump in, jump in, guys. I'm... Um... Yeah, I was saying uh, it might be an unpopular opinion, but I personally think that miners should have. Uh, I mean, people. Sh I mean, the pr the people that are working in the prison, they should spend more time on um, on on miners, in my opinion, and they should receive a stricter punishment. I don't know if stricter is the uh, apt word for this case, but yeah, because they, uh, as young, they need to be uh, like. Imagine this case, like if there's a 16 year old dude who um, who kills someone and there is another 40, 40 year old person that kills someone in the same way. I personally think that the law enforcement and the law, uh, people working in this field, the, the professional working in this field, they should spend more of their resources, let it be time or brain in general, they should use more of their resources on trying to um, punish or mentally counsel this minor who committed this crime. Because if they start out, like, let's imagine the case that he gets a two year or a 10 year sentence and the 16 year old, he stays in the prison for till the age of 26 and he comes back. It's like, it's just quarter of his life, assuming he lives to the age of 100. He can do a lot of things because he started something at that young age. I personally think that uh, people should uh, shift their focus and focus more on the minor who commits such a uh, bad crime. But yeah, that's my take on it. I can see where you're coming from because there's definitely a lot more potential for someone that young to learn about uh, what's proper, what's not proper, all of that. So I can see where you're coming from when you say that they deserve a stricter penalty. However, I do believe that it's best to just be a little bit more lenient on them. The justice Since system they are is so actually young. open. The justice system is actually already very all... lenient with like minors and their sentences, but with yeah, things I like, support that. Yeah, but with things like murder, the sentence is actually the same. Like with murder, even if you're a minor, you'll get the same sentence as like a forty-year-old. Yeah, because I think yeah, there should definitely yeah. be the case because it is the same amount of harm that's done. So I think that should be that's a loss of life, basically. So even if it's and also, old and right, right. Old, it be yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue. And, and also, I wanted to say that um, these criminals, for whatever I mean, for for the relatively devious crimes, I think they should people should uh, I mean the law enforcement they should focus more towards um, psychological counseling, and uh, they should be treated. Yeah, I mean, they that. should. Uh, know their ethics more. They should be taught about the ethics more than the physical punishment or any mental punishment. Like for example, if he's set in isolation for a few years, that's uh, that's gonna um, make it even that worse. That could be in my more opinion. depressing. Yeah, that could be more exactly. depressing, um, and it could harm, could harm more. Right. Yeah. Right. So I, I think they that. should spend more resources in criminal psychology and uh, try to yeah. change it from the bottom, from the roots, because the main roots, the main cause of this crime comes in the brain, because that is how the person decides to uh, choose their actions. So and I think on that, uh, note, that sorry is sorry to cut you off, but it's time. Time is up. Thank you. All right. Thank okay. you so much, everybody. Wow. We really, we really discussed as much as possible. And I'm just looking at the time. This is amazing. Wow, that was a very good topic. Hey guys, so I want to ask you now. Um, yeah, do we have a summarizer? Uh, FIFA, can you summarize for us this round of discussions? Maybe you can just focus on two points that were kind of interesting. We discussed questions four and five. Can you just uh, give us a quick summary of what went down during our third round of discussions? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, the summary is basically that uh, minors should be given more attention when they're in jail and uh, I believe that psychological counseling 
always is more important than facing the penalty because you know the justice system should be working to actually shape criminals into being people who are capable of living in society unless they're far past that point which is a different story but uh, the psychological counseling is always a more important thing than the crim criminal facing the penalty for what they did mm -hmm. which is actually the last point that was added to this discussion mm -hmm. thank you so much all right good job on the summary thank you and now let's just quickly reflect on our uh, discussion here so what went well and what would you improve if you had the chance anyone yes would like who would like to go first well, um, I'm sorry, can I you would... repeat the question? Yes, so basically at the end of the discussion, we usually reflect on the discussion itself. How did you do in this round? Were you able to uh, voice your opinions? Were you able to communicate clearly? And if you were given another opportunity, what would you work on to improve? Uh, so improvement would mm -hmm. be, I just wish that there would be more objective statistics mm -hmm. um i heard something about how the parenthood and households can affect this kind of thing and i've actually read studies about that uh it turns out that single mother households actually increase the rate of criminals growing up mm -hmm. and single father households do the opposite mm -hmm. it actually lowers the statistics of criminals growing up Very interesting. now i'm not sure mm -hmm why this is but it's a study that was conducted and i believe it's because uh, men have more emotional stability they have more financial stability they're mm -hmm. a lot wealthier on average so they can care for a child's financial needs and since they're more mentally stable and emotionally stable then i believe they'll be able to take care of a child mm -hmm. on their own much more than a woman can so okay, thank, you. Can thank you thanks afifa but i was yes. really getting at the actual discussion how you did in the discussion well the, these are interesting points but uh you oh, think yeah, yeah. but <laughs> i just sorry. wanted to talk about the household effects of how okay. criminals mm -hmm. grow up so yeah that's my input mm -hmm. thank you so much all right uh anybody else would like to reflect on how they did in the discussion round hi i think i did pretty well uh, mm -hmm. okay uh yeah arcane okay. you go first and lala after that okay arcane keep going yeah, so I think I did pretty well, and at some point I missed my word, mm -hmm. like I didn't have the appropriate word. But uh, after this conversation, I really do feel that my opinions do mess with other people, and I'm able to communicate more clearly with uh, everybody else over here, and we are able to matter our opinions, and I think that's uh, what's great about this conversation. That's great, that's great. I would just suggest, you know, Same if you can, if you can get a better microphone, that would really help everyone. I think you're also yourself. Uh, so if I can just suggest, you know, somehow, if you can improve the, the microphone quality, that would be a great asset for everyone. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, Thank sure. you. And sorry, Lala was next. And after that, uh, Pepper. Yes. Lala, how was your performance? I think, I think I think I did mm, bleh. <laughs> not really not really good, but I think in the next discussion I should um, mm -hmm. broaden my vocabulary because I think because other people express themselves really well and I agree with them. So I just mm, I actually agree with that. Mm, I actually agree with that. And then I just when I want to talk, I heard other people talk and they they voicing their opinion and I agree with that. So I Mm -hmm. I don't talk because I agree with them. <laughs> so hopefully next time you're the one who's voicing your opinion <laughs> before they jump in. You have to be more assertive and take the floor, right? You have to take yeah. the floor. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good points. And what about, uh, what was it? Pepper, Mr. Pepper, you want to uh, oh, yeah. close the session for us? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sure. Um, I wanted to say about my, re that reflecting thing that you said. Yes. Um, I'm, pretty i think my 
English is pretty okay at this mm -hmm. moment for mm -hmm. a not native okay. speaker. Yes. So uh, I think I was able to convey my point properly to the uh, audience, even though I fumbled here and there. Uh, that was probably because of uh, me not able to find the word in time. But yeah, apart from that, I think it was pretty okay outside. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much. Well, that's great. Uh, once again, a big round of applause to all of you. Thank you. And let me give you some feedback, guys. Let me give you some feedback. Well, I think that this round of discussions was very good. The questions were difficult, so I commend you, commend you for, for trying, attempting to, um, to tackle these important questions. I must say that uh, you were expressing your opinion clearly and, and that's great. I, if, if anything, I would just like to uh, encourage you to be more involved, more assertive with the microphone. So when there's silence, you know, jump in, don't hesitate uh, because otherwise you'll never get a chance to speak. And I was also uh, would hope for the leaders, for the leaders to take charge and actually get try to involve everyone more or less equally. So that actually means paying attention to who is in our discussion panel and trying to keep track of who has spoken, who has not spoken yet, and maybe sometimes gently uh, prompt them, right? So you might say, hey, what about you, Lala? What, did you what do you think about this question? Do you have anything to add? Uh, this might really um, help. Yeah. Yes, this might really help. I think I was really assertive in this mm -hmm. debate, which I yes. want more people to be. Yeah, so we need to have a, a, a you know a balance between uh, being assertive, but also being aware of other participants, and we don't want to leave anybody behind, right? So yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. And of course, it's difficult while you're expressing views on abstract opinions to do those things at the same time. And that is precisely why we're practicing. Well, everyone, thank you again for being a part of this discussion. And when it comes to our Friday lesson, as I mentioned, please um, uh, send me a direct message if you would like to be interested in joining a discussion on free tuition for universities. So mm -hmm. should tuition be free for all uh, at college and university level? If you want to argue yes, please come contact me. If you want to argue no, they should be paid. The university should be paid. Please contact me, send me a direct message. You would be expected to be here on time on Friday as a, a usual class time. And then you would need to give an address of five minutes for your point of view. So you have to speak for five minutes and then you would have to be a part of this debate where people are asking you questions and you have to respond to their arguments. Do you have any questions I'm about sorry. that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. At the time, the usual time, and when is that usual time? Well, for, um, yeah, for me, it's uh, it's eight o'clock uh, Pacific. That is my pi time zone for Eastern time. That is eleven o'clock a.m. Uh, a.m. or p.m. A.m. A.m. And I believe London time it is five p.m. But uh, you can check the schedule on Twitch, uh, right? If you if you oh. click on my so in America it's eleven a.m. Yes, like right now we're live, okay, and if you go to my Twitch channel and click on the schedule tab, the schedule of our lessons will be adjusted to your time zone. So I recommend going there and just checking our regular broadcasts, okay? Uh, and again, if you, so please uh, message me if there's no interest in debating this topic, then I will just have to come up with something else. But I think it would be interesting to have actual debaters and then open up the floor for questions from the audience. Uh, please support this channel. So uh, uh, spread the news far and wide. If you want to support uh, the channel financially, that would be great. That gives me more time to do research and to buy better equipment to uh, improve this, the quality of this uh, stream. And of course, if you are uh, interested in taking part in these lessons, you need to sign up with the English Hub Discord server channel, uh, Discord server, because that's where we are interacting. All right, everyone, I'm looking at the time. I don't want to keep you forever. So once again, thank you to all our participants. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on Friday on English Palette. Bye for now, guys. Bye for now. Bye. 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 Thank, Bye. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Stay safe. Yes, see you, guys. you too. Enjoy stay safe. Time. And see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you.